Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Joe, and today I will show you guys how to upload 3D models on CD Trader. So I have this model right here. This is the model I want to be uploading on 3D Trader. I have retextured this. I have gone ahead to export in the different formats that I would be needing, right? So in order to run all of these exports, you can just make sure that your um 3D model is selected. You go to File, Export, and whatever format it is you want to export as um they are all here and you can do all of those export something else that i did with my export is also to make sure that i unpack all resources just so that i have an external file exported for all my textures now i'll move to my files and i'll show you what that looks like because whenever someone wants to use an obj file they will need all of those texture texture maps so uh, if i move to the side here you would see that i have an alembic file this is an abc file I have a blend file, um, but the OBJ file also. Then I have a USDC, um, which is like a new file format that kind of unifies you know, all 3D platforms to use one, um, you know, one format. Then I have some images exported already that I'll be using as image preview. These are images and shots taken from, you know, the taken from my blend file, and these are images I'll be using for my CG Trader upload. So when um, I'm just going to go to uh, my browser and I'll try CG Trader so we can just open a new and fresh um, page. This is my CG Trader account. I'm just going to go to my models and you would see that I have about uh, maybe like eight models. Some of it free. Some of them are paid files. Okay, in order to create a um, new 3D model you want to upload on CG Trader, you have to come here to publisher or you can come here to publishing the first thing i want to upload are my image previews i'm going to go down here to image preview and upload all my image previews so all of these are just things that are going to make you know um the user or customer see the model before they make a purchase or anything so they have to be like good really nice beauty shots so I'm just going to quickly upload those. Um, I think this part is going to be fast forwarded so that to make the video run fast. So my image upload is done and the next I want to upload is the blend file. So I'm just going to go here and go back. But the first thing, another thing I want to mention to you guys is in order to upload an effective blend file on CD Trader, you have to make sure that you come up to external data and pack all resources. What that does for you is to make sure that all image textures that you use, all node setups that you used for this blend file are stored locally. So if another Blender user downloads your blend file, they can always have access to all of these things and you won't be seeing pink color everywhere, which signifies like missing data or missing textures and stuff like that. What I'm going to do is just go back again, just to refresh that. And then I will upload my blend file. Um, let me just upload the other so we don't have to wait for that so long and then i would also upload the textures but the textures in order to have an effective upload you have to make sure that it's a compressed file so i'm just going to go back to my file folder and then right click and then compress my texture file into a zip file so while that is compressing i'm just going to go back to my cd trader um window and then upload textures the next i want to upload let's upload obj let's do USDC, let's do DAE, let's do, I think we can just do everything. Also the Alembic file also, so that everything uploads together. We we'll wait for that part, fast forward it, and then I go into like the other part of, you know, creating a new 3D upload on CD Trader. All right, so we're about done uploading those images. And I think that's about the last one. The last one was the Collada file, which understandably is um, it's a little bit large, but it contains no animation sound. I, I wonder why it took so much time. But the next thing I want to do is to upload some more images. I exported some wireframe images while on my files are uploaded because I felt like it was um, an important um, aspect of, you know, of the model to showcase. So I uploaded some wireframe images these are this is where the beauty pass ends and this is where the wireframe images um start so i will just select all those i think uh, from 9 9 to 13 are the wireframe images so these will upload really fast 
the next i'm going to do is probably um go through my files uh particularly the blend file so i can name which version it was created with this was created with blender 3.2 so we want to click native and make sure that we have blender 3.2 selected in this space right here and um, our texture file is correctly imputed but we have a really low score right now our score is 6.5 which is not so bad it's not in the red place but we can still get this up to say 7.5 um, we're going to upload a YouTube preview and I'm um, lucky enough I have a YouTube video where I, you know, made this 3D model. I'll just click for that YouTube video. This is it. It has about 300 views. Not bad. I will just, um, I'm funny enough, I'm wearing the same shit. So I will just move on to this and add the YouTube video to this link. So another thing I want to do is arrange this in a sequence that, you know, probably tells a story about, you know, how magnificent the model is and how it looks. I would start with this um, shot right here. This shot is a low angled shot and it really shows the massiveness of the building. So I would start with this, then I'll switch to a close up. Then I would make sure all the wireframes are last. I have a description from ChatGPT over here. So I'll just copy this and paste into the description. Then I have a couple of tags. I'll just copy the tags and paste into the tag. So we can't have this much tag. What I want to do is just to remove some that, that doesn't work. So I, I think we have that and we have everything all set up. What I want to just do is select a category for it which is obviously architectural and then we would um select like a subcategory let's say the subcategory will be like um let's do straight and this model is just going to be free for free for download and we'll just be able to share for everyone to use we have our publishing score up to 8.2 right now i think we're all good on this model i will just click publish and so the model is right is live right now so that's it guys so long and until i see you in the next one peace